All right, <clears throat> today I'm going to do a little tutorial on uh, how to make a scary face with the iPhone. There we go. Uh, first thing we're going to need to do is get a picture of ourselves, or of whoever you want to be the scary face. And I am going to <clears throat> take a picture of myself over a nice neutral background here. And let's see, like that. Do some big scary eyes. Okay, that'll be our <clears throat> working picture here. And now, well, first thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go into make my face a little more symmetrical because <clears throat> uh, the the stuff we're going to use will work better with the. Oops, that's not what I'm going to do. Cancel. We'll work better with a uh, <clears throat> face that's symmetrical. All right, so we'll make me look a little strange here, but. Let's see, do I want to go that way or this way? Let's do this way. Uh, let's go that way. All right, out, out, out. Out like this. Not too much. Back in. All right, I'm already looking kind of strange, which is good. That's what we want. Okay, so we'll save that off. Save that. Oops. Okay, <clears throat> and then now we'll take that and I will go into our makeover app and bring that picture in. All right, and I'll assign the points there, and that one right there, and that and that. All right, next, a manual adjustment on that. Okay, so I'm gonna take my eyes and make them even bigger. Take my nose, flatten it out a little bit. Make me even a little skinnier there. Take my mouth, make it a little bigger, make it funky. Actually, I'm gonna move it down too, it always looks funky. Give me a little more sinister, let's see. That looks okay. Let's move my nose up a little bit to make it look really strange. Okay, well that looks kind of strange. That seems pretty good. Let's uh, apply that. Bring it up just a little bit. All right. <clears throat> now, we've got our little picture here. Okay, and now we can go in and use... Oops, our eye mutator and let's import our photo there we go okay let's size it a little bit so it kind of fits nicely down here that's pretty close okay okay that looks like that's gonna fit pretty well okay now let's see what do we want to be do we want to be Zombie. I'm gonna go with uh, a uh, Franken thing. That looks kind of fun. All right. <clears throat> Get rid of that. I don't need this. Okay. So let's uh, start with the mouth. That's kind of cool. That looks a little bit like it should fit in there. Resize a little bit. Um, okay. Let's move to our cheeks. That's kind of cool. It's a little bit off. Let's try and move it around the eye there. Other cheek. Once again with our symmetrical thing here. That looks pretty good. What's the stitches? Okay. Go over here. Let's see, which ones do we want? How about... I don't like a lot of them, but I'm going to fade them a little bit. Something like that. All right, like that. That looks pretty good. Oops. Uh-oh. Back. All right, let's see, what's this? Some gashes. That looks pretty decent. Some bolts in my head. That looks kind of fun. All right, do you want to mess with the eyes or not? Let's see. Eh, my eyes are kind of creepy already. Yeah, those are a little too bulgy. Actually, I'll do one bulge. I like one bulge. That's kind of fun. No, actually, I don't want to do that. I'm going to do... Sorry. Let's see. No. 
No. Okay, oh, I don't like those. Let's go with my head. I'm gonna make a little creepy thing. How about the brain? Brain looks good. Big brain, little brain, zippy brain. How about, let's go with the, <clears throat> let's go with the brain. That looks kind of neat. Okay. Do I want to switch the nose? Mm. Nah. I'll, I'll leave mine in there just so that it looks more realistic like me. And about some hair. <laughs> no, not that hair. Let's see. That looks like some good funky hair there. Let's see if I can shrink that down a little bit. That's not bad. Okay. So let's uh, be done with that. All right. I'll save that off and go back and check it out. So this is what we've got right here, which looks pretty cool. Okay. I want to spruce it up just a little bit. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go in and let's see. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go in with... Uh, Let's do some lens flare. Oops. Lens flare. Okay, let's open that up. This is kind of a goofy app because it's sideways until we get to the right point. There we go. Okay, let's do that. Okay, now what I want, there we go. I want to put this right over an eye, except that's just the wrong kind. Let's see, how about this one? How's that look? Let's shrink it way down so we can focus right where we want it. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, kind of got it how we want it. It's a little bit bright. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. It's kind of in the wrong spot. Was, come on, get up there. Right about there, I think. Okay, that looks cool. Okay, then we'll save that one. As a, and this so we're gonna add another one. So this one's gonna go right there. So now I have two of them, which looks pretty cool. Now we'll save this whole thing. Save photo. All right, out of here. Now let's go to uh, tilt shift generator. Kind of fun. Okay, just to add a little extra to this. <coughs> Okay, grab our last photo here. All right, that's a little too much. Let's uh, back off the, I do want to vignette it, but I don't want, brightness is way too bright and contrast is way too much, okay. Darken it down just a little bit. Saturation, somewhere in there. Make it kind of creepy and contrasty, how's that look? Looks pretty decent. Got that all good. Do we need a sort of blur? Let's see, how's that look? That looks pretty decent, kind of creepy. All right, save. Exported. All right, go back into our photo library. So let's see, we started with, started with this, made that, brightened it up, and then extend my mouth down, made that, made that, and then darken it up, and that's the end of that. Pretty neat.